Hello YouTube. I want to show you how to build an automatic baler, basically a device that prevents rain water from sinking your boat while you're away. And uh, this device I came up with is super simple to build, just over the counter items. I bought everything on Amazon. And yeah, so this is the device. It doesn't look like much, but it's very effective. Uh, you can see the discharge hose in the back going over the side of the boat, a little solar panel to keep the battery charged and then a little box and underneath you can see the bilge pump uh, that's an off-the-shelf automatic bilge pump that uh, starts pumping as soon as water level rises. The bilge pump lets you check the float switch before you leave it alone, uh, which is a good feature. And so now I'm just going to leave it alone. This is what the device looks like with the solar panel velcro to the top of it. Uh, I did a little test run in a tub full of water just to make sure everything functions properly. So when I set the device in, uh, it immediately started pumping out the water just like it would when uh, you have a boat that's slowly filling with water. So uh, since that was a successful test, I want to show you now how I put this together. It really is something that anybody should be able to do with some basic tools and basic supplies. But uh, all in all, I think it's a good bang for the buck. I think I spent about $100 on stuff. So these are the parts you'll need, some kind of water resistant housing. Uh, I bought this PVC housing for about $15. Then uh, a bilge pump. This is an automatic one with a float, but you can also use a separate pump with a float switch. Then uh, you're going to need some, some connectors, an inline fuse, uh, some stainless steel screws, a solar panel. And uh, I used a 30 watt one, but uh, you could probably get away with like a 15 or even like a 10 watt one, depending on uh, how much sun you have. Uh, a solar charge controller. And uh, I'm gonna need a battery. I used a lead acid. I think the one that's pictured is like a five amp hour one. Uh, I ended up using a 10 amp hour one, but I think a five amp hour one would be enough. Some uh, PVC to make some legs. Um, you know, Cut them to size and then hot glue them to the uh, to the little housing. Uh, it just makes it easier to then uh, uh, drill into it and, and screw them in. So I used the stainless steel screws then to permanently attach them. Yeah, and here you see how the electronics are all wired up. It's very simple. You have the battery. The battery is connected to the solar charge controller. And then uh, the solar panel is connected to the solar charge controller and uh, then you have the pump connected to the solar charge controller it's all just standard stuff plus minus uh, i secured the battery with a uh, fuse with an inline fuse just to prevent it from short circuiting and uh, i secured all the electronics in there just with hot glue because i didn't want to create any additional holes uh, then yeah, all the exterior holes from the cabling, I, I used uh, marine grade silicone. But since technically uh, the device should never be completely submerged, uh, you can probably use regular silicone to, uh, uh, to make sure that water doesn't get inside. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, as I said, it was about $100. You can probably go cheaper or if you have items like this laying around. The solar charge controller sells for about $20. Uh, the pumps uh, sell from $20 to $30. The batteries around $20. And then, uh, you know, like you can use anything for housing. You can use a bucket if you want, you know. Uh, but it works very well. Um, I hope it doesn't get stolen. <laughs> but uh, this might make uh, it easier this winter to prevent that little paddle boat from sinking or filling up with water. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great day.